Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we've made a bandolier that's actually worth something. So, I've been thinking for a while about the Army Bandolier. And this is the, you know, military surplus that I dyed this brownish color that didn't turn out super hot, uh, bandolier. And a lot of us use these, right? I've, I've used these, I'm sure you use these. And I think initially, like, like at its base, it's not that bad of a design, really. Uh, however, it has some significant drawbacks in my mind that make it almost unusable in my personal opinion and for what I use it for. Uh, the first one is that it only accepts metal magazines, right? You cannot fit two P mags in here side by side, uh, which, you know, I guess if you're in the army, not a big deal because they all use metal mags. But if you're me or most people, right, P mag has kind of become the gold standard. And so you can't fit two P mags in here and use this button closure to latch it. That's not, that's not gonna happen. And so that was a problem. Um, the other thing is I did not like the button closure. I think the button closure is crap. It's really hard to unbutton when I have it slung up, right? I can't unbutton it. It's not gonna peel very well and let alone rebuttoning it. Good luck with that. That is not gonna happen. So that was, that was always a really big drawback to me. And I've run a couple of these and I'll just keep metal mags in them, right? And, and then when I need an extra mags or whatever, I can just grab that and go. And that's, that's convenient and that's nice. But again, not overly usable. And if you're an AK guy, of course, forget it. This isn't even an option for you. Uh, another problem I had is the strap is not that big on this thing. Um, this is pretty tiny. I mean, I'm 5'9", like 210, 215. And you know, if I'm not wearing any kit at all, this isn't, this isn't too bad, I can get in here. It, it rides pretty high, but I can get in here. But if I have plates on, or a ruck, or chest rig, or all of the above, uh, it kind of defeats the point, right? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna grab this to plus up some ammo and just throw it on over all my kit, and then I'm, and then I'm gonna go and drop it off or do whatever I'm gonna do, right? Like again, this is not very conducive to how we use kit. And the last thing, and, and the, probably the most annoying thing to me personally, is that there's no good way to grab this, right? I would often grab this and put this in my car because uh, I'm gonna go to the range. I just need some ammo to zero, so I'll just grab a bandolier and I'll go, right? Well, there's, <laughs> it sounds silly, but details matter. There's no, there's no handle here. There's nothing to grab. So I'm always awkwardly like grabbing this strap and, and carrying it around. And that just seemed uh, silly to me. So what I did is I looked at this and I said, we can make this usable again. So let's look at that. So this is the Minuteman Bandolier. And I think we've made some significant improvements. Uh, the first one is we have added Velcro here, right? So this is no longer a snap closure, none of that garbage. This is a pure Velcro enclosure and that makes it a lot, lot easier. Uh, what I did on the height of the magazine pouch itself is it is optimized for AR magazines. So we can fit metal mags, uh, we can fit P mags, right? Either way, the height is optimized so that you're gonna be able to fit those P mags in there. Or like I said, the metal mags, it's, it's gonna fit just fine. Here's six, this happens to be uh, metal, P mag metal, but you could do all P mags, you can do whatever. I'm just putting this in here to show different variety. The other thing that we fixed, of course, is I made it accessible to my AK friends. If you are one of my AK friends, I will show you here that you can fit six of these AK mags in here just fine. So for demonstration purposes, this is the P mag, uh, AK mag. I know that some people might hate those, but just so you can see here, they're gonna fit in just fine. We'll go ahead and put all of these in here. So, I now have six AK mags in there. So if you're an AK guy, or if you like to mix and match and you know, run different guns sometimes, this will fit all of the mags that you need fitting in here. It will even fit three 308 magazines. 
So for demonstration purposes, these are 20 round uh, 308 magazines. You could obviously use 25 rounds. You're gonna have enough height. It's not gonna be an issue, right? But it will fit three of these in here. You cannot double stack them. It's not gonna be that wide, but it will be wide enough to fit three of them in there, okay? So you can put three 308 magazines in. And again, if you had this a little higher, right, and this was a 25 rounder, wouldn't be a big deal. And that'll fit in there just fine. So because it's a bandolier, that mag versatility was important to me. Now, like I said, it is optimized for the AR magazine. The, the, the height or the depth of the magazine pouch is there to fit the AR pattern magazine. However, the other ones will fit in just fine. Just depends on what you want to do. And you have plenty of Velcro and room for adjustment. The other thing I looked at when I made this is we added some side loops on here for a chem light or for a marker or a pen, or if you just want to hook your carabiner through or whatever, we added something in there so that you can retain some extra useful devices. And then on the other side, because I always like doing the sides different, I think it's boring and not useful when companies do the same thing on each side. Uh, so for this one, we put a tourniquet holder over here. Now, fair warning, this is very tight. Uh, did that on purpose, right? So that, again, that's not gonna come out no matter what you're doing, but it is very tight. You do have to work to put it in there. I suggest taking the magazines out before you stuff the tourniquet in and then stuff your magazines in after that. But there's one loop here and then there's, I'm not using it right now, but then there's a second loop back here and you can carabiner through that or do whatever it is that you wanna do. Uh, for that, I'm just using this to stuff the extra of the tourniquet in to hold it tight, okay? But you can use that how you want. On the bottom of the magazine pouches, I've also added these loops. And I added that because there's a lot of times when I like to hang stuff off of my bandolier, right? If I want a carabiner in a, a set of gloves or maybe a set of ears, I've used just this as my range bag before, which we'll talk about in a second. But whatever it is that I want, I wanted options to hang some gear off of the bottom here or just attach something to it or tie something down to it or whatever. I like having options. So I tried to give you some options here so that again, you could attach those little other accessories to the bandolier as you see fit. Uh, all of the magazine pouches, of course, have a grommet hole in the bottom for drainage and stuff like that. On the handle, so I did add a grab handle. That was, again, very important to me because I'm often using this thing and there's nowhere to grab it. But this way, if it's in my car, or if it's on the ground, or I have to pick it up, or whatever, it's nice to have a grab handle. Same reason we have a grab handle on backpacks, it's important to have one in your little bandolier bag. So we've just added a non-removable grab handle here so that you can always just grab it, you know, carry it, drop it, whatever. So, you know, grab handled stuff, you're welcome. The other thing is, on this uh, loop here, there are two things. One, I gave you a lot of room here, okay? So you can throw this on over kit, you can throw this on over whatever. If you're a big boy, if you're a little boy, it's fully adjustable, right? It has a glide here. You can adjust it down to whatever you need to, but I gave you a lot of room so that you can adjust this to fit you, your mission needs, your kit, etc., etc. So we fixed that problem. The other thing I did is I made this removable. So. If you pull this little elastic loop up here, this is just on a little hook, and you can remove this entire strap. Now, if you do that, I would tell you to go ahead and take a zip tie and put it through these two loops right here. Uh, put it through there, so that way you don't lose your little elastic things, because otherwise those will slide off, right? But that way you won't, uh, you won't lose it. And then just store that wherever you're gonna store that. The reason I made that removable is because on the back here, I gave you Molly. Now I have a pouch on here right now, okay? This is just some larger pouch that I have so you could fit a bunch of stuff on here. Like I said, I've used this as a range bag. So I had this pouch on here, I threw my ears in here, um, and I, I threw some pistol mags in there because I was gonna do some pistol shooting that day. And then I grabbed this and I was out the door. That was it, right? It has everything I need in order to make it function. But the other reason that I put Molly on here, and let's take a look at the Molly right now. So for the Molly on the back, you're looking at six columns of Molly, one, two, three, four, every other space down, right? So this pouch, was a four banger, uh, four columns of Molly, right? And that fit on here, no problem. Uh, I did not give you like little strap things, 
on the back of here because my thought is I wanted you to be able to attach things to this bag. Um, so if you have different pouches or you want to put, you can fit two uh, can US Army surplus canteen water bottle pouches on here. Uh, you can fit a lot of different stuff on there to again, mix and match this bandolier to make it fit your mission and what you want to do. You already probably have a ton of different Molly pouches that you use or some rejects that you don't use anymore or whatever. And this is a great place to mount those if you want. If not, just run it slick, no big deal. But it gives you that versatility to be able to add other pouches to it and to upscale this bandolier a little bit and make it more usable for your mission needs. And because it's Molly, you already know how this works. But the other thing you can do is you can attach it to a bag. So here I just have some Malice clips that I put on the back of this Rush 12 bag. And I've mounted this up and this actually fits because it is six columns back here on the Rush 12. Um, this will fit perfectly right here. So if you wanted, you can again, remove that strap. You can molly, that's why I made the strap removable. So you could molly this onto a pack and you can just run this as an external mag pouch. Maybe you run it with all six, maybe you just run three in there, maybe you, whatever, but however you wanna run it on the outside of any pack, you can do that. Again, it'll fit on something as small as the Rush 12. All you need is a six columns of molly. It'll fit on your DG3. Uh, or I don't think Crossfire makes the DG3 anymore. I think they make a CF3 now. But whatever, anywhere you have six columns of molly, uh, you can mount this sucker up. All you're gonna need is some malice clips or your favorite molly attachment, however you wanna do that and then you can mount it right up and then it will fit there. I like to mount my mag pouches externally because I think mag pouches and mags are something you need to get to, right? You either need to put partials in here and take fulls out or you need to say to your buddy, hey, you're low on ammo, you know, grab two off my back, whatever. I like mounting mag pouches external. So for me, that was a big win was to be able to have the option if you want to be able to mount this externally. The other thing of course, and the way a lot of us use the bandoliers, right, is we just fill them with ammo, that way it keeps your ammo together and then we just stuff it inside the actual pack, right? And then we just stuff the whole thing in there. So, which is great. And if you wanna do that and you're not gonna need the shoulder strap, then again, you can take that off get it out of your life and make your life easier. So again, we're trying to give you those options of you can run this independent alone with the shoulder strap, I can mount it to something, I can take the strap off and I can just shove it in my bag. Whatever you wanna do, however you wanna set it up, you can run this Minuteman bandolier. And that was very important to me, was to be able to have the different versatility and options so that you can do what you need to do with it. So I hope that's been helpful. If you're interested in this bandolier, this will of course be on my website. We're gonna have all the standard colors in green, multicam, woodland, because woodland should be a standard color, and coyote brown. So I hope that's helpful. Hope you find that interesting, and I hope you find it useful. Do brave deeds and endure.